Well, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Glenn Vines. Uh, I've been involved with full-time Christian ministry now for 22 years. And God originally called me into Asia. I was working as a pioneer missionary amongst one of the most unreached people groups of Asia. And uh, during the 17 years that I was there as a, a church planter, planting underground churches, mentoring, discipling people, I learnt a lot of lessons. A lot of lessons about very important things in the kingdom. A lot of lessons about spiritual breakthrough in people's lives, in regions. I, I took the gospel into a region that had not received the gospel. And I planted churches in a region where there was no churches getting planted. And um, God had taught me lessons. He's taught me lessons about spiritual warfare. He's taught me lessons about the power of prayer. He's taught me lessons when I'm discipling people, uh, how to activate them into their gifts and their callings. He's taught me about any healing. He's taught me about the importance of deliverance to break the power of curses and bondages off people's lives. And as we remove all those negative things, they can become all that God has called them to be. And um, about three and a half years, years ago my wife and I returned to Australia after 17 years on the mission field God spoke to me and he said I'm now calling you back to Australia to start up a ministry to prepare and raise up my people for the coming war that there is a spiritual war breaking out in the heavenlies over the nation of Australia and God's people need to be prepared his army needs to be raised up so that we can take back the territory in this nation that the devil has been stealing from us three and a half years ago I returned with my wife to Australia and we started a ministry called Horizons Gate Restoration Ministries we started up this ministry under the covering of the Coulomb Christian Family Church and with that ministry, I go around different churches, uh, missions training schools, uh, speak, speak in men's prayer breakfasts on the whole subject of restoration and how we can see God's people restored to their rightful inheritance. And uh, I also am involved with uh, a Korean Chinese fellowship. My wife is Korean and uh, we're reaching out to a lot of backpackers and, and students that come from overseas to Australia to study English and uh, a third part of the ministry I'm involved with is in the region of Noosa and I'm believing in God for spiritual breakthrough in the Noosa region and we've got a group called the Noosa Breakthrough we run seminars we do prayer walks uh, we're involved with, with uh, evangelistic activities in Noosa in order to see God's breakthrough of his kingdom into that place Samson was legendary, and he is legendary, as a mighty man of great physical strength and stamina. Um, so famous that even if you go and talk to people that aren't Christians, many of them would have heard the name Samson and know that it's, we're talking about the strong man. He wants us to be the strong men that would establish in the earth the strongholds of his kingdom. And in the negative, we heard the story where Jesus said, if you want to go into a strong man's house and take the treasure out of that strong man's house, you've got to first bind up the strong man. Because while the strong man's there and he's guarding his house, you can't get into that house and you can't steal the treasure that belongs to that strong man. And so that strong man's house is the stronghold. And uh, so Jesus said, first you need to bind him up. And then in Luke, Jesus says, you need to disarm him. And so there's two things that you need to do to a strong man if you want to go in and you want to take that precious treasure, and, and that's to bind him up and to disarm him. Now, Satan is coming into the earth, which was originally created to be a stronghold of God's kingdom, God's paradise, and all the souls of men are God's treasure. And Satan has come in, and the way that he's been able to come into the earth and gain access and steal the treasure that belongs to the storehouse of God is because Satan has effectively bound up and disarmed God's strong men. The walls of protection are broken down and we're seeing all sorts of chaos and confusion come into our nations. It's because God's strong men are being bound up by the devil. Now, not everyone. 
We know that there are some strong men of God that have their weapons of warfare and they're out there, they're fighting the good fight. But God doesn't want just individuals, He wants an army. We all need a vision that is bigger than ourselves. Because I'll tell you what, if you're used to living at this level in your faith and your Christianity, and then you just, you know, that's all you want, that's all you're going to get. And I'll tell you what, if that's your level, if that's your target, you're probably not even going to get there, you're going to probably get here. So the higher the target, the higher the goal that you have in life, the more radically you lay hold of what God wants to lay hold of you for, the higher you're going to start to hit. And we need to go back to the Word of God and we need to start to take it at face value. Because I don't have to wait for an angel to appear before me saying, Glenn, you are called to proclaim the gospel to the lost. I don't have to wait. You know why? Because the Word of God has already said it. Because Jesus, by the power of His Holy Spirit, has given revelation to men. And men have written that down in the Word of God. That is the Word of God. And so you don't need a special invitation. I know some people that are waiting for a special invitation before they go out and do something radical for God. No, yes, pray. Wait for God's timing in it. But you've got to start where you're at. You've got to start where you're at. And God wants volunteers. Don't just wait till you've got a special call. You know, Gabriel suddenly arrives, you know, and here he is. Oh, God has wanted to personally invite you to go forth and proclaim the gospel to your city. Why don't you share with your next door neighbour? Don't wait for the invitation. Volunteer. And start with the small things. And as you start to, with the small things, you overcome there and you build up your faith. He, that is John the Baptist, went in all to, into all the countryside around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling out in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make every path straight. Now the reason for this video is to introduce you to me and to introduce you to what I am doing. Um, if you are interested in having me come to speak in your church or your group, then please, uh, as you watch this video, my email address will be there and contact details. And, and that's what I'm here for, is to impart into the body of Christ. Thank you.